His name's Paul. He's my hero. He's ten foot tall. He's everything I ever wanted to be. Sort of like an unblemished version of me. Paul's got a young family. He's an excellent dad. He's good to those kids even when they're bad. And all his friends know he's a solid guy. And there are many who for him say they'd gladly die. I could go on and on about the qualities of Paul, but you'd need about a week to listen to him all. I've got another little brother. His name's Nick. Somehow I got to think and I thought he was thick. And nothing could have been further from the truth, but I should have shown more love. I was a bit aloof. Over the years I've seen him achieve many things in work, sport, the arts, all kinds of things. I've always admired the courage that he's shown, even when a little fella, barely grown. My stupidity pushed us apart. He had to have his say. He had too much heart. and I was six years older, so I thought I'd won. But he's been big enough to forgive me for the things that I've done. I love Sister Claire with the long blonde hair, the hand-standing tomboy waving her feet in the air. She was only a teenager when I left home. Then she raised three children, all on her own. She took it pretty hard when her husband split, but she battled on. Now she's winning a bit. She's the hard-working nurse and a conscientious mother who gains qualifications, one after the other. Next is to Sally. She's a little bit older. We grew up shoulder to shoulder. She played footy like the boys and had quite big muscles, and she even beat me in occasional tussles. Sal's been a teacher and a preacher as well, though she's had to contend with some personal hell. She's been a lifeline counsellor for people in strife. She's helped so many others, despite a difficult life. Now, if there's one reason for which I'd like my time again, it's to listen more carefully to Big Sister Jane. From her I could have learnt so much, but to me her wisdom was double dutch. No wonder she thought I was a stupid child. I was infuriatingly dense and it really made her wild. I guess at times most boys get belted by Big Brother, and me too, but still I'd rather no other than Derek. He blames himself for some of my woes. When he looks at me, sometimes it shows. But he shouldn't blame himself, not one little bit. I got myself at all my shit. I love the guy. He's so easy to forgive. I think we all should live and let live with seven kids who are bound to be fights, but most of us seem to have turned out all right. Should see our kids. What a splendid crew. No good fruit on a rotten tree grew. They're athletes, academics, computer freaks too, artists and musos and a cool dude or two. They're courteous and healthy and they're good people too. I think we should be congratulated, don't you?